Hello, I am your host, Madcap Stallion. Work in progress. Anyway, this is the extended version of the first 27 characters of the KOF game coming up, trailer reactions. I already did an edited extended version, but it accidentally got deleted. So I had to edit everything all over again. But luckily I had the raw footage still there so I didn't have to just can it all out and just yeah. So I went edit it and editing is no joke. But I appreciate everyone who watches and if you enjoy what you see and want to see more, like, comment, and subscribe down below and less a watch. Thank you once again. Okay, first character that showed up is Shini. Or Shawnee. However the heck you say it, his um name. What was that? <laughs> I blinked and it was over. I mean, jeez. Like, it was just like... <laughs> story clips here, story clips there. Done. Like, I can see what he was doing but it was just happening like really fast and I was like yo it, it was very messy um but from he was a character introduced in KOF 14 where they start a new saga and stuff like that where he's the new hero supposed to be the new main hero of this new saga the KOF series of fighting games for those who don't know the characters go in saga in terms of their heroes and stuff like that. You see, have Keo, then K Dash, and then Ash Crimson, and then now it's this new guy. Um, sometimes they come back to Keo and stuff like that, but bleh. as far as I remember, I, I am, I'm a fan of KOF, but I don't remember everything. I honestly just love playing the game. <laughs> But, um, but yes, in terms of this character, he looked relatively the same that he did in 14. To me, I didn't play much of him. And he doesn't seem to have a redesign or anything like that. It, it, they kept him like the same. Some of these characters do have um, redesigned. But that's it for this character. He was the first one. Pretty messy trailer. Um, but the next character is Matenkin. They say his name on the trailer. Anyways. Um, he is also a new character who was introduced in KOF 14, and again, just like his um, his partner, the first character, which they both were in the same team in the last game as well. Um, they both seem like the same character, but I'm not expecting much, much change because they were introduced in the last game. So. Uh, it is what it is, but the trailer much more uh, better to follow, and it was just a better overall flow. You can see what the characters are doing a lot better. Get a get more of a taste of how the game's gonna be and stuff like that. And I like how everything was starting to animate and stuff like that. So it was really good. So all in all, I didn't play much of this character either. So, yeah. Benny Maru. Now, he is a OG character of the KOF series. I believe he was in the very first one. Um, I like his redesign. I was never a big, like, super follower of Benny Maru, but he was always alright. Whenever I play him and stuff like that, he, he was cool. But he was never someone that I really, really gravitated to. But I am so tired of his ultimate move just being like Thunderbolt Fist and then it's just a stream of lightning. It was cool, but it looks like a regular super, not supposed to be like his Neo Max. I believe that's what they call it in the King of, of Fighters. Their ultimate move is Neo Max or change. I'm pretty sure it's Neomax, I'm pretty sure. 
Go kill me. <laughs> um, it's been a minute. Iori. Ooh. I really dig this guy's uh, redesign. And it was like he was um, doing like very familiar stuff. I think he was doing some new stuff as well. But I really love his um, his new Neomax where he just grabs you and when he grabs you it does the symbol of the crescent moon on his back and he just like now you die he grabs you in the face and then just exploding in purple flames and stuff like that love it love it but they took away his chain his um leg chain though all right it's not a big big thing but it was it was always something that was really unique to him, so it's kind of weird to see him without it. I don't know. Like, he has gone without it before, I believe, but I always feel like that was, like, a main thing of his. Uh, you know, it's just... That's how I feel on that. It is Joe Higashi. Hachi, 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 ha! I love that they started out with that. That's one of his old themes in the past. I really like that song. However, he looks relatively mostly the same as he did in KOF 14, which is not bad. I like playing this one, but I really do miss this low kick command input. And I also miss this world's strongest low kick where he's like, bah! I really miss that. I wish that comes back, but all in all, he looks good. I like that he came back. And I'm not surprised that he came back, but I like what I'm seeing here. Next character. Next up is Keo, the original protagonist of the KOF series. Before Fatal... After Fatal Fury and after Art of Fighting. Whole nother topic. But let's get back to this one. From what I've seen, I really do like what I see here. And oh my gosh, his Neomax, I just remember. That Neomax? Thank you. I was so mad at KOF 14 where it just looked like a basic special combo. I was like, well, why is this the ultimate move here? No. But this one, it seems like they went with the combination. Um version he had multiple versions where either he had a combination version or he had like the fireball version sometimes they have a little mix of the two but this time it looked like they went with the combination version and they put his fireball as his ultimate move and then it goes into like a crazy sequence where he does like a fire tornado and you see the sun um, symbol on his um, back glows from his jacket uh, that just Blows around and just gives it that special effect, and this looks off. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Next character, Chizuru. Um, I haven't seen you in a minute. Nice. And now she's making team secret treasure, not secret, sacred treasures, which I believe is one of the teams in the past where it was at the end of Kyo Saga in the past, I believe. I'm an expert. Don't you dare challenge me. Just kidding. Anyway, um, but yeah, it's nice to see her back. And also the glowy orb um, Neomax that she has. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Next character. Andy Bogard. It's Andy. <laughs> but I do like that they brought back pasta uh, on his trailer and stuff like that. I really do um, like that. I like how some of the characters, a lot of the characters get like their old themes and stuff like that during these announcement trailers. I really did dig that. However, when it came to Andy, I think his EX Fireball, when I first saw it, I was like, is that new? <laughs> I don't remember seeing that in 14. I wanted to go and like experiment with that, but I never got around to that. But like... And also, I also want to experiment and see if, like, one of his one of his main special where he does like a leaping drill kick, like he was able to cancel that and go immediately to the ground and then like continue a combo. I was like, "Ooh, that's cool! Is that new? I don't ever remember seeing that." 
I don't remember seeing that at all. So, like, I think that's new. I might be mistaken. But besides that, he looks better than he did in 14, but that's about it. But I do like the whole, like, canceling out his drill kick in order to, to, to land more quickly and continue a combo. I really do dig that. Um, but besides that, it's handy. <laughs> Next character is Yuri. I really love Yuri. She's usually one of my mains. She's usually a safe pick for me whenever I play any KOF games because she's usually in every KOF game. I believe she's in every single KOF game. I have played the majority of them and she's usually always there. If she has been missing, it would be a very rare occasion. But I believe she's in every game. And I always have fun with her. Always have fun with her. She's usually my one of my main to goes. But in terms of the trailer, it doesn't seem like she did anything new from KOF 14. But I had a lot of fun with her in KOF 14, so I'm happy. However, I do like that they pop back that Pow Pow Cafe. I really enjoyed that. However, one disappointing thing about her trailer was like how a lot of the characters had their own theme. She just had a the art of fighting main theme, I believe. But I was like, where's Diet? I want. I wanted that. But eh, besides that, that that nitpick, I'm happy with what I see here. Next, Terry Bogard. Of course, he's making it in the game, but got my main. He is my main character. You have no idea how excited I was when I saw him in Smash, and it was around my birthday too. I was like, oh, yes, 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 yes. But um, besides that, in this game, um, like he looks really good, and I when I saw, I remember when I saw the trailer the first time. I remember when I saw him do his shoulder charge into power dunk, I was like, oh, you can just do that now? Usually if you did that, you had to like cancel out of the the shoulder um, charge and go into the um, power dunk. He does like a little twisty motion and that was more from Garo Mark of the Wolves, I believe. But like he just went straight into it. I was like, oh yes, please, thank you. And then this new Neo Max Ultra move is like Bastard I believe he said Kaiser at the end, but I don't care. I was loving that move and also the star glowing in the back and flash and then he just Bastard Kaiser Oh yes Made He is my main guy and he's usually in every game. He is in every KOF game. He's my main to go to. I love Terry Bogard. I am happy. And then they show a little uh, gameplay after the trailer as well. So I was like, oh, that's nice and stuff like that. Um, between him and his team, which is Team Fatal Fury, which is with his brother Andy Bogard and Joe Higashi uh, and stuff like that, which was cool. But um, but besides that, okay. I mean, okay. Yashiro. Wow, you came back. It's been a long time since he was back. He was in the 90s since we last saw him. Wait, 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 wait. Stand corrected. He was in the 90s in the main plot of the series, but like he came back for 2002 Unlimited match? I believe so. Because that was just like a everyone's hair type of game um but yeah he looks good he looks good this is the first time he's ever been in 3d and he looks good um i didn't play with him much because like his other teammates interested me more but he wasn't bad though but i was happy to see him but that just meant like his other teammates <laughs> yeah. next king of course she's back here fan favorite of course she's gonna make it back not surprised 
and she looked good. But besides that, I was like, oh, sweet, okay. That's all I have to say. She, like, I play her every once in a while, but it wasn't one of my to go to, but she's usually very good regardless. So I'm glad that she's here, but I wasn't surprised. Expectations was not as shattered, but it was nice to see that she made it back. My Shiranui. She looks really nice in this game. Um, I like the fire effects that she has and stuff like that. And I was surprised though. Um, not that she came back or anything. Oh, uh, like she's a fan favorite. And unlike Smash Brothers, this is a game for naughty boys and girls. <laughs> anyway, um, I was surprised because like um, the stage that they showed off with her. It kind of reminded me of, it gave me the vibes of her Fatal Fury 3 stage, where she was in an um, aquarium and stuff like that. And it had like a different theme. They chose to use her Fatal Fury 2 theme, which I'm not mad at. I like that thing, but I was like, why didn't you went with the Fatal Fury 3 theme? That's weird, but like, I'm not mad at it at all. That's just a little nitpick, but... It, uh, I just felt like it would have like comp completed for me for that. But besides that, me, um, she had the new Neo Max Ultimate move. Um, however, it, it kind of felt more like a special to me. But I'm not mad at it. But I think the older one that she had was better, where she just like zip around and stuff like that, and with the trail of fire. I'm thinking more of her. 14, not 14, her 13, um, ultimate, her 14, I believe, she, like, she zapped, but it didn't leave a fire trail, and then she slammed you between her legs and stuff like that, I believe, I'm trying to remember, but, like, I don't know, this one right here, it felt more like a super, a nice super, but, like, it didn't feel a little ultimate to me, that was me, it didn't look bad, but that was me, but besides that, I, I like what I saw with my share Um, next! Shermie. Remember when Yashiro, when I was back to Yashiro, I was like, heard his teammates? When Shermie was announced? Yes, 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 Oh man, I was so happy. I played her in 2002. I loved her. Like, she became one of my mains in that game. I was like, yep, let's go. She's one of my favorite wrestling chicks in any fighting game. She's a grappler, but she's a lot of fun. And I love her new Ultimate Neo Max. I love, like, the moves that I was seeing. I'm trying to remember if she had that whole, like, when she slammed somebody down to with a special, she had, like, a special follow-up with the knee. A part of me feels like... That was there, but another part of me feels like it wasn't. It reminds me a lot more of Clark Steele. We'll see him later. But, um, but yeah, um, I was so happy, dude. I was so happy. Like, of course, that Yashiro was gonna be like mentioned, the other his teammates were. And like, Shermie, I believe, is the most popular, and then followed by Chris, I believe. But, like, man, I was so happy when I saw that. I love her new look, too. It looks so amazing. It looks really good on her. I am so happy. I am maining her. I, she is one of my mains. Terry, Yuri, and then Shermie. I have three mains right now. But um, there's another one down the road, and I know there's going to be more. But I was so happy when I saw her. Yes. Yes, thank you, thank you. This was the second time she was in a three, like modeled in 3D. The first time was in the SNK Heroes, and she was she was in that game, but it was like a very simplified game. I was happy that she was back, but like it was what it was. But man, I hope that she gets some of her, or like one of her costumes in there that looked like she was like going out in the night of town. It looked really good. Um, I hope she gets that as an ultimate costume in this game. 
that's the one thing I am hoping from from that game. But um, but besides that, yes, 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 yeah, yes. Yeah. Next, <laughs> Chris. This is a part of Shermie and Yashiro's team, and now they make up Team Orochi now. In the past, they used to make up the team New Faces, but that was in like the 90s, so <laughs> it's, not, it's not new anymore. But um, but I'm glad that he's here. In the past, I didn't really care for him because I just thought he looked kind of lame and out of place. But like, um, but here in this game, uh, like. I don't remember a lot of his moves back in the day, but here, like, he looks like he's gonna be a lot of fun and very annoying for others to fight against, but, like, I'm gonna play him. <laughs> I love the whole speed angle that he has going on, zip, 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 and like, oh, you about to hit me, man? <laughs> woo! Woo! <laughs> Blue streak! Speed's fire! Daddy is creepy! <laughs> but I am going to annoy the hell out of people. But I'm going to have fun with it. But And I like his um, Neil Merrick's ult ultimate move here. It, it looks really good. And I like the final like leg lift. And he's like, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> but um, it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. But I'm happy he's here. New team Orochi. That, that's cool. I'm glad that him and Shermie's back. Yashiro, Yashiro, it is what it is. He's my least favorite, as you can tell, but, like, I'm glad he's back, too. Uh, I'm glad the team's back. But, besides that, NUX! The Invincible Dragon. The Raging Tiger. Both of these characters were, like, introduced on the same trailer, and I was like, huh, that's different. And also what was different was that they... Instead of like showing like the clips of their moves and stuff like that back and forth, they were showing like regular fighting back and forth, which was a nice change of pace, I guess. But like, it was just kind of odd. But it looked like the um, same characters that we usually deal with, and they look good and stuff like that. But they were showing off like a new counter system and stuff like that that really caught um, the eye. That I was like, ooh, that's that's neat and stuff like that. But, um, but besides that, they look like how they're supposed to look like. Um, I don't think anything is new shown in terms of their moves. Or something that was returning that was missing from the past. Did he have this straight punch in 14? I think he did. I think he did. I think he did. But besides that, both of these characters, Rio and, and Robert. It was a good trailer. Uh, I wasn't mad at it, but um, I do like the entrance, though. The Invincible Dragon. The Raging Tiger. And had, like, the filter of, like, an old kung fu movie and stuff like that. I like that. Nice touch. But besides that, next! Leona. Fan favorite. Not surprised that she came back, and I'm not surprised her team is coming back as well. As soon as I saw her, I was like, her team is coming back, which is going to be the next trailer. However, um, yeah, she looks good in, uh, like, a lot of characters. A lot of characters really, really look good in this game. But the one thing that I saw that caught my eye was it looked like she could play with her, with her her grenade air rings a lot more like she has like a self designate now that I don't remember she having in 14 and it looked like you could do a lot more with it and which looks like fun and I'm pretty sure a lot of Leona players who um dig that they're gonna have a lot of fun with her so yeah um, the one thing that I didn't like was when I saw again nitpick it's not like it's gonna downgrade the video for me but it's a no limit pick because like her ultimate not that I'm mad at the ultimate is just that at the end when she like slices them and then like when she finishes it she says sayonara and I miss it from how she did it in KOF 13 where she does a very similar super is in 2D and then she slices them but before it explodes she does that sayonara <laughs> That just flew a lot better, flowed a lot better for me. Um, instead of like doing it after the explosion and 
stuff like that. But besides that, she looks cool. I like how she's playing with her earrings more. That's neat. Um, besides that, next rough and Clark Steele. It's Rolf Jones and Clark Steele. They both appeared in uh, another duo trailer like Rio and Robert. However, like on this one, it seemed like a one-sided fight. <laughs> Clark was mauling Rolf. Like Rolf barely showed enough moves in terms of like what he can do and stuff like that. I didn't get to see much of his explosion punches and stuff like that, but we saw plenty of Clark with his grapplings and stuff like that. So like, I had fun like watching Clark, but I was like, man, yeah, it felt very one-sided. But it was okay, but that was kind of distracting that I didn't get to see much of like what Rolf can do. But Besides that, it was whatever. But next, Blue Mary. I'm glad she's back. She was a DLC in the last game, and she was a lot of fun. She looks very similar to what she was doing in that game, but I think her one of her classic supers now has like a new ending slam to it that I really enjoyed when it was spinning in the air and. It Bomb and stuff like that. She's like a mix between Cammy and from Street Fighter and Nina from Tekken. That's what I usually get the vibe from when I play um, Blue Mary. I do usually have fun with Blue Mary. I pick her up from time to time, yeah, over and over again. But yeah, it looks like gonna be the same thing here. I'm glad that she's back. And it was a really nice, good trailer. She looks really nice in here. I like her, um, how, the, how her model and the way how she animates and stuff like that. But besides that, next! Long. I believe that's how you say her name. Um, L-U-O-N-G. I believe that's how you say her name. Anyway, she's one of the newcomers in KOF 14. I'm not surprised that she's here. I'm surprised it took this long to reintroduce her back into the game um, but besides that she was a lot of fun in the M14 I love her kicks I love the whole like snake kick vibe that she had the whip kick and I love the whole stepping on her opponent's like a ladder and then just slam down to the ground with their face on the bottom of her feet and I love her snap neck um, Neo Max Ultra I love it all. I'm glad that she's back. The, it was a good trailer. I love... She looks the same, but I love how she looks in this game. Um, besides that, really nice trailer. Next! Vanessa. Best Bay! Best Bay! Best Bay! Best Bay! Best Bay! I am happy that she's back, man. I, she was a DLC character in the last game. I am so happy that she is back here, man. Woo! I was like, oh, mm. I was, I kind of was not <laughs> expecting her to be back, but when she did, Buzz Bay! Oh, she's my favorite female character in the KOF series. She's my favorite fighting boxer female in any game that I play. She's a lot of fun. And she looks still like a lot of fun. And I like her new team, Team Secret Agent, with her, Blue Mary, and Long in here. Oh, mmm. A nice team. I'm loving it. I am loving it. Um, but besides that, really good trailer. I love how she looks, uh, gameplay wise and aesthetic wise. Uh, and when they played her theme of uh, under certain under circumstances or was it secret circumstances the name of her theme either way i remember that theme regardless oh uh, i i was loving every moment of it i was having a blast um but yes first break one of my mains 
I fell in love with her in Kayla 11 is when I really gave her a try and I fell in love with her and then I went back to KOF 2002 Unlimited Match and I had a blast with her there again as well but man <clears throat> thank you thank you thank you I'm happy I'm very happy next Ramon it's Ramon um he's a luchador character and he's fun but like it's Ramon um, I'm happy to see that he's here. I'm not surprised that he's back. He was a DLC character in 14, and he, and I believe he's usually on a team with Vanessa, but now Vanessa's with a new team, so I don't know. It's different, but um, yeah, like I do love that they kept his um his ridiculous Neo Max who just flings somebody to one side and then he runs the opposite way and then he just. Break! Yeah! Got back with a face crusher! <laughs> I love it. I love it. He does some yeah! Like, uh, wait, not even that. He just, he grabs him from behind and then twirls from the front. I don't know. It, it's weird, but I just love the slam. I, uh, I just love the entire thing, but... Yeah. Besides that, Ramon's Ramon, but he's fun. Nah, eh, 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 eh. King of Dinosaurs. It was a really good trailer, but I'm kind of I'm kind of mixed there though because before KOF 14, where he was also King of Dinosaurs, he was a, under a different moniker and mask um, known as Tizoc. Instead of a dinosaur, it was a Griffin. But then one of these newcomers from 14 came and beat him and humiliated him. And then he decided, I need more power. I need to go back in time to prehistoric savagery. And then he went to dinosaur mode. And in 14, he was all right, but I was like, he's missing so many Griffin moves. What's happening here? I miss my hilarious and stuff like that. I was like, where's my uh, and stuff, but I was like, like, people uh, love the King of Dinosaurs. I was one of those, I was like, I want my Griffin back. <laughs> I wanted the Griffin back. But this one is back here, but it looks like he has some new moves here as uh, now in this um, King of Dinosaur moveset in 15. I think he has like a new anti-air grab, which is nice. Um, I think there was another new move. I'm not sure. I don't remember what it is at this moment. But... Um, I love his new Neo Max um, Ultimate, where he, he does like a big slam on you, and then a volcano is erupting, and he's just roaring. And I was like, "That's nice. That's nice." And um, and also revisiting this, I remember they showed off the um, the metal slug. Um, stage that was actually introduced in the Ikari Warriors um, fight with Rolf and Clark Steel. I just forgot to mention it back then, but I really do, do dig that stage. I think it's a really nice stage. Um, but besides that, next, Athena. <clears throat> Everyone's favorite. Psycho soldier, pop idol, little fighter that we all hate to fight against. <laughs> I hate fighting against this little girl. But like, she looks like what she usually does. I do like her new redesign though. I like that. Um, but she looks the same. She looks like she's gonna annoy me the same way. <laughs> like she's she's fun to play with at least but like when you fight against her it's like oh. <laughs> I can't concern her <laughs> but um this this I see this <laughs> be gone with you but um 
<laughs> I'm sorry. But she was uh, fun, but like her her ultimate move is not bad. It's not bad. She has like psycho Frieza death ball going. But I miss her other um uh, I was hoping for a new one that was gonna reference her older like costumes like it usually does. Like she usually has like a super that references like her older costumes and appearances and stuff like that. But I guess after a while it does get um, kind of old, so they want to spruce it up. But it's not bad. It reminds me of like I think she has a very similar move to this in the. KOF All-Stars mobile game. Um, it reminded me of that when I first saw it. So, yeah, that's what it is, but why? Next, on to the final cat, huh? I also forgot to mention, um, the new team that she makes up with Team Super Heroines. Um, not bad. Um, it's usually a team woman fighter that usually make up a team like this. Like in the last game, there was King, Mai, and Yuri and stuff like that. And it's usually operated by King, but now King is on Team Art of Fighting with Ryo and Robert, which is like they had to switch it up a little bit. So, okay, uh, whatever. But yeah, it's kind of weird that um, she's not in a woman's fighter team when it comes to teams me. But I think she has done that before though. But that's just that. On to the next final character. I am the King of Fighters! I believe his name is Antonov, whatever. But, um, but he was the um, second to last boss in the last game, KOF 14, and it was pretty. It was a pretty fun character all around, but he just looked very basic in the in the last game. I love his redesign in this new one, and I just was wondering, like, like I was trying to look for it in the in the trailer, and I remember like. When I first looked at it, I was like trying to find it as well. Like where he like, he has like his, <clears throat> his back up like muscle flex on you. And he does do it in the trailer, but he also has another one where he like, he does like something similar, but he grabs you from behind like this as well. And then does like a, like a command slam with it. I believe he did that. Am I remembering wrong? Please let me know if I remember wrong. But I was kind of looking for it, and I didn't see it. I hope he still has that. But I do like his new um, ultimate move, though. I believe this new. It's been a while since I since I touched him. When I did, I had fun, but I didn't play him too much. So it's been a long, long time since I actually played him. But I think it is a new ultimate. And I love his new redesign. I just wish he kept, like, the older belt. Um, this new belt is not bad, but I kind of miss the belt with the horn. But everything else, bravo. And that is going to be it in terms of all the characters. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoy what you see and like to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. Also, follow me on Twitch, link down below, where I shall take you through a magical journey where we shall all become stallions. Once again, work in progress. Anyways, y'all take care, be safe, and I slide the bye. Bye.